All right, so this is uh, probably mid-70s, roughly, MTD Farm King 990. Uh, they came under many different uh, brand names, kind of like a nowadays MTD where you have, you know, Garden Way or, you know, some of those older 90s, you had Yard Machine, Garden Way, a lot of different brands that were under the MTD branch. This is, I can't remember the brand it was like a white or something I, I don't remember the guy told me before he repainted it it was such and such but I don't remember uh, I bought it because I have another one that I use pretty much every day that one over there and I just thought it'd be cool to have one that was looking pretty nice I could bring to a show and that one sitting side by side but I have other things to deal with it's kind of in the way I haven't I don't drive it enough I don't take care of it well enough to keep it around so just want to get rid of it more or less uh, the tires and everything are pretty nice. I mean, obviously they're pretty fluid filled and everything, so it's pretty expensive tires. Uh, new bearings and everything for the front tires. Uh, obviously been repainted, got fancy lights on it. Uh, it's, this has a 16 horsepower shaft drive Briggs & Stratton. My, the one in my other one has, I don't even know how many hours on it. It doesn't smoke at all. This one does smoke a little bit, but it still runs great. has good compression and everything. Start it up for you. Uh, these kind of, I love mine because I put a three point on it. You can see it's hydraulically lift. I use it for hauling pretty much whatever's around trailers. You know, we use a lot of old mowers for doing that stuff around here. It works great for getting in and out. It's better than like even an 8N Ford or whatever, just for getting in places. You see, still, I mean, I've hauled, I don't know, about 5,000, 6,000 pounds with my other one. With that little hitch and it works fine just for moving around the yard i mean obviously hills and everything's hard because there's really not enough traction but these do have a very very strong hydrostatic they are hydraulically actuated for lift you know you have decks and blades this mower only has the blade yeah you got the up and down right here that's hydraulic valve for it and it's it's a cool little tractor it's got high and low rear axle which is pretty pretty darn handy you know just for there are any really low geared and high they go by half the speed as that 149 does so they really do have a lot of pushing power as long as you get traction to those wheels it will push pretty much whatever it is unless until it breaks a shaft or something but all right that's pretty much it see here you got the lights which are pretty nice Um, this is the start button, turns over the motor. Ignition, not exactly sure what this switch does. Obviously throttle and choke. Uh, this one would originally be for the drive or snowblower or tiller, whatever you're using. These came with all kinds of different attachments back in the day. Let's uh, start it up, I guess. It should What this big steering wheel is from looks like from an old Chrysler or something, but uh, obviously it's, it's not original. It's not mine actually. I don't think has this uh, that much of a taper on mine. But anyway, yeah, if you, I use this lever. You can see the thing goes down, back up. It's kind of slow, but I just had the cylinder off, so I'd be why there's a little air in there. This one steers nice and easy. Gears and everything are pretty nice. The guy had this thing completely stripped apart and painted it. It was a pretty big job he undertook. But pretty solid. I mean, this thing, uh, since it was taken apart, uh, like mine has a lot of rust on the linkages and stuff over there. And uh, this one doesn't, so it's a little bit more touchy. Which I don't like that much. It, it's a little bit more of a show tractor. I don't like this one as much for work, but I can see if you put some shocks in there, it'd probably help a lot with that. But I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it runs and drives. It needs a few things. It needs a cap on the uh, points. For some reason, it was missing the cap for the points when I got it. I haven't bothered to put a new one on. I just drive it the way it is. 
once in a while it loses spark. I know I just have to clean those points and it works fine again. Yeah, I mean, that's, if you have any questions, I mean, leave them in the comments. I know quite a bit about these because I've been using mine for the last three, four years, but yeah, like I said, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, uh, have a good day.